Fred Wenger was almost the only conductor I knew who was totally without vanity, absolutely without conceit. His personality, in as much as it came in, and it came in much, was always wholly subservient to what he felt the composer wanted for. He kept most of his original creativeness within his capacity for interpretation, for re-creation. Hans Keller, musician and writer. He has been criticized for imprecision. The criticism is justified, but the evaluation isn't. Which is to say that where Furtwängel was imprecise, he not only wanted to be, but the composer wanted him to be. Let me give you one example. First, a performance of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony under Toscanini. I wasn't uh, there myself, but I gather that as soon as the introductory bars, Furtwängel, who was there, jumped up from his seat, shouted bloody time beater, and left the concert hall. What had happened, what had aroused him so, was that Toscanini took the opening sextuplets very precisely, so that you could hear them as sextuplets. comes the other part of the story, and that is Furtwinger's own performance of the opening of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. There you couldn't hear a thing. You certainly couldn't hear sextuplets. What you could hear was a vague, tense noise. The beginning before the beginning, as it were, which is exactly what Beethoven had intended it to be. Wenger's tempi also often aroused disagreement. It's generally said that Furtwängler took very slow tempi. This is really what you mean. Well, sometimes he did and sometimes he didn't. Quite often he took far faster tempi than other people. That is so fast a tempo that if you put it in the abstract to anybody, if you asked any musician whether the movement was possible at this speed, he would say no. And that would include myself before I had heard the fourth point of performance, which however only goes to show that tempo in itself is nothing. Tempo is a function of structure and hence, in performance, a function of phrasing. You can't decide on a tempo before, A, you have experienced the structure, and, if you are a listener, before you have experienced the phrasing of the interpreter in question.